Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to import a notebook as a module within Google Colab. Previously, I showed you how to import a Pi file as a module within Google Colab. I will link that video in the description below. I also received questions from users on how to import a notebook as a module within Google Colab, which is the main motivation for this video. Let's take a look at the notebook we are going to import called square root. The only function it contains is this square root function, which returns the square root of a given number. What we'll do is we are going to use this package as our first method called import-ipymb created by this user Axel. And I included this link in the notebook if you want to check out this for yourself. We're going to pip install this into our Google Colab session, and we're going to use this to import the notebook and the function in order to be able to work with it. And what this module does is it utilizes a few code blocks from the Jupyter user documentation site, which we'll take a look at our, as our second method. But going back, let's import this. I'm going to pip install and then import IP, Y, and B. Let's run this. Great, we have that imported. Let's go back to our square root. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to file and I'm going to save this to my local computer. And now that I have that saved, I am going to go to my folder. I'm going to drag and drop this into the contents folder here. And I have our notebook in our contents folder. You can also use Google Drive if you want to import a specific notebook into your session. But let's go back. And all I am going to do is I am going to import square root. We have square root inputted. Now let's actually check if we can call the module and also call the function itself. And let's take the square root of nine. We were able to successfully import the notebook and use the square root function within the notebook. Let's restart the kernel and take a look at method two. For the second method, this comes straight from the Jupyter Notebook documentation, and this is what the previous package we looked at utilizes these code blocks for. You'll see that we the, the documentation imports a few different packages and utilizes the IPython package. We can see that it defines a function here. And there are a few different classes that we need to utilize in order to import it. And this is more if you want to work with the source code, perhaps you are seasoned and you have some edits to this, or you'd prefer just to get the source code rather than pip installing a package in order to import a Jupyter Notebook. Let's go back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import all these packages in order for us to set up these functions and classes. Next, I will set this up. And we also have to call the sys module in order to pass in this notebook finder class. And all we need to do is like we did before, I need to drag and drop the square root notebook. Let's try importing it. Great, looks like we were able to import it and let's test it out like we previously did by taking the square root of nine. Awesome. And we have these two different methods. If you want to check them out more in depth, you can take a look at the GitHub documentation for the import-ipymb, or you can go to the Jupyter user documentation to get a better understanding of those classes and functions used. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. You can connect, you can subscribe and like the video if it was helpful. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and GitHub. Thanks again, everybody, for watching and happy coding.